Alright guys, this is my video on how to use Squawk Box with Microsoft Flight Simulator X. There are two ways to run micro, uh, Squawk Box with Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can do it within the Flight Simulator by clicking on Add-ons, Start Squawk Box. Or you can run it separately outside of the Flight Simulator from the Start menu. I prefer to run it from the Start menu. Uh, it just seems to run a little better that way. And this is the main screen you'll see when you when Squawk Box comes up. Uh, just a couple black boxes, it seems right now. Uh, this left black rectangle is where you'll see all your incoming chat messages from air traffic control or other pilots. And then this right box is where you will see all the air traffic control online in your area. If you click the Start menu, this brings up the menu to edit all the features of Squawk Box. Click the Options button brings you to the options screen and you can go through all these tabs and set up your different preferences uh, most important being under the voice tab your push to talk key right here go back to the start menu we can click connect and this brings us to the connection screen you will select your server from this drop down list squawk box comes with um, all the servers automatically loaded your VATSIM CID, your VATSIM password, the call sign you wish to be uh, flying as, your home airport, full first name, full last name, aircraft type. Squawk Box does not have aircraft already loaded. You'll want to click the aircraft list, click add, and you can select an aircraft from this drop down list or search for one by clicking the search box. You can connect and we see this extra window comes up over here uh, this is our squawking normal squawk standby ident for your squawk which for a controller makes your screen makes your blip flash and we see the controllers are popping up over here on the right hand side now uh, Seattle Tower, Seattle Center, Seattle Approach and the ATIS I'm going to go ahead and click Flight Plan, and this is where you'll load up your flight plan. You can choose your flight type, if it's IFR, VFR, DVFR, SVFR. Then your departure, ICO, airport, airport code, arrival code for the airport you're arriving at, and an alternate airport if you wish. It's not required for um, in case you cannot make it to your arrival airport. Departure time, in route time, and fuel available and cruising speed actually are all items that do not show to the ATC these are just for your purposes only uh, however Squawk Box does require you enter a value in each of these boxes cruising altitude that will show to the ATC uh, you want to choose your proper cruise altitude for your direction of flight whether your voice receive or full voice rather voice receive only or text only and your route. And then this is, you also, uh, you want to click in this and choose your equipment type that you have on board. This will make your equipment uh, suffix what it is. And close that. And then disconnect. Uh, actually, sorry, here in the transponder, you can choose the transponder mode, which you can also choose in the window over here. And private voice, you can open a private voice channel. I've never personally done that. And then chat brings up, you can type in a call sign you wish to chat to. Click OK, and then type in your message. That is the end of my Squawk Box tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and hope it was, hope you learned something.